Here's exactly what happened. Let's go. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. This fucking music, though. This is awesome. I'm liking it. The killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Yes, I'm getting all this right! And then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. And this music's making me feel really hyped about it, though. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. Uh -huh. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Okay, so it wasn't sharp, it was dull. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and fucking gutted her. And Aha. Sayaka. Aha, that, that, that picture still hurts. <laughs> but with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with Fuck. that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Yes. I think I got all of it right. They took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. At least I'm fucking open. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they've ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. I mean, even if you miss, you could still fucking try with something else. Damn. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. Not gonna lie, I'm really liking, one, well, the music and the art style of this comic book style, uh, way of showing how it happened. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. There goes the fucking ultimate baseball star for fucking it up. The killer didn't notice this and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Ooh. Isn't that right, Leon? Shit, that's that's cool looking. Yeah, sit the fuck down, Leon. Got that but perfect. That hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, 
and that's where you saw it, right? Needed vinegar to get that out. Trust me. Gotta love Deadpool for that little fact right there. Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. Next time we're uh red or pink in this case. So Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? There's no fucking way he can. Do I object? He's fucking done! Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object! I object! I object! Yeah, except that it's all fucking bullshit, bitch. I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Uh, everywhere, you motherfucker. Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. You can refuse all day long, but you're still the fucker who did it. And I want to see you burn, motherfucker. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto. I believe you're in possession of that evidence. I'm in possession of all of the fucking evidence. I have the evidence? Your first bullet time battle is about to begin. I want to know what that is. Oh. The hell? Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. I don't give a shit. When this happens, you will engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to them as the bullet time battles, aka the BTB. Or BTW. Oh, by the way, god damn it. Fuck you, game! During the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the screen, the screen and reach the center. Press the right mouse button to lock onto your opponent's statement. Destroy the statements you've been locking onto with the left mouse button as the tempo marker reaches the center. Use this method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Do this constantly and you'll start a combo. Keep that and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll get a tempo down situation. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for the bu each button hit. So watch out for that. To deal, deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak st spot statement will occur. At that point, you can press the left mouse button to shoot it down with the tru truth bullet. Like any other statement. Beat their statement fast enough and you'll come out victorious. But just like before, if it re your influence gauge reaches zero or time runs out, you fail. With that it, good luck and have fun. So I assume I just keep pressing the left mouse button in to the rhythm. Anything from your room to do it. So what did the killer use? It had to be the screwdriver set. I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Shut up, Leon. Stupid, 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 <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid! What the fuck? I have to show him indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I need to figure it out. Let's do this. Don't know what it is, but I'll figure it out. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. Okay, this is kind of comfy. Okay, I'm focusing hard because this is hard. You lie. This fucking hard, actually. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Oh God. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie! Fuck me. Oh god it, final strike. Where's your proof? Die! I should prove it. Motherfucker! You're done! Sit the fuck down! The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used! There aren't any other tools anywhere! And all of them are shrink-wrapped. 
So if he has his open, he's immediately the fucking guilty party. The toolkit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. True. Had he used my fucking toolkit, I would be fucked. Only the boys got toolkits. So the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. I'd still fucking check because I'm just, uh... I would have actually checked the fucking map first. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> Jesus, Leon. It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Hey, you maybe want to hear about this before starting saying stupid, you motherfucker. Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Well, the shrink wrap will be gone. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? Oh, he's done! And if you say it's you over, to something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. Oh shit! And let me say this right now: I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid! Oh, stupid! Oh my god. It's over. Oh shit. Oh my god. He looks so fucking broken there. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. I mean, look at him. He's does he look fucking have a rebuttal? Oh my god. Stop sh fucking showing that. It's too fucking funny. Results. Damn it. 962 out of the thousand. Oh shit, 96 battles. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? Yep. You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Oh my god, if you don't vote, you get punished? What the fuck? Okay, then let's get excited! Yay! Who will be chosen as the Blacken? I wonder. Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? I wonder who the What's fucking killer is. What's it gonna be? Monokuma vote. Yay! Three Leons! Hell yeah. <laughs> Looks like you got it right on the money! The Blacken in this case is the one that killed Sayaka. Yahoo! Was none other than Leon Kuwata! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, stop fucking showing that! It's too fucking weird and funny looking! Huh? Hey, hold on! Uh, uh, hold on a second! Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But. but... I, I don't believe it! You son of a bitch! Son of a bitch, what the hell is wrong with you? I, I didn't uh, have a choice. It, it was kill or be killed. So. That's why... That's why I killed her first. None of you are any different! None of you are any different! One wrong step and you'd be the same one standing here! It was completely chance that I wound up like this! I was just... <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Good thing I'm on the ultimate luck, motherfucker. Hey! Come on! You expect me to just accept my death? God, he looks so fucking defeated. Everything's been come clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that, I honestly, I don't feel any better off with it if we'd been wrong. Because if that we came up with the reality is the truth, then that truth is that Psycho is trying to frame me. But, even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind. It's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her, and that video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now 
now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. What? I can't afford Why? to be stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. To have to see something like that to happen to them, and Sayaka. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. And that's why Sayaka, for the friend that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So when she said, No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> she was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I, I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's, that's that. Fuck me! God damn it! Oh, she fucking used me! Damn it! Boy, howdy, the entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, I didn't try to kill... I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships? She seemed so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside she descended into pure madness. What did you say? I understand, really I do, yup yup. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love, the stronger those feelings, the deep stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us! This is all your fault! Sayaka being forced to do something like that. All of it, everything, it's all your fault! Suddenly I was in a frenzy. I lunged at Monokuma, but... That's enough. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough, I was uh, sure it would leave a bruise. That's the least of your fucking worries, Mon uh, Makoto. Calm down. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it! Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ah, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good walloping. Just barely avoided punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. Now then, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon Kuwata will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You mean execution? Oh shit! Wait a second! I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. Okay? How exactly was it self-defense? Hmm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back into your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing, but you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded int- Intent to commit murder? So, that's no, why... N no, that's not... Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka. Do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him! If it weren't for you, this would never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We w shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation. The mastermind. Did you awaken to your sense of justice? Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetrate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up! Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, more importantly... Thrills, chills, kill! Let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for! The punishment! I'm begging you! Please, don't do this! 
No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop, please. Fuck. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. For Leon Kuwata, the ultimate baseball star. No, 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 no. Shit, he really is broken down. Hawk. Oh shit, cutscene. Game over. Leon has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Shit. What the shit? Oh fuck. Oh god, that would fucking suck. Ow. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, that would fucking hurt like sh hell. Ah. Is he hitting all the balls? Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's brutal. That's that's fucking brutal. Oh Christ. Fuck me. I wanted him to fucking die, but not that way. What we saw. That was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! Woo! Extreme! <laughs> Man, my adrenaline's pumping right out of control! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I, I can't take it. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well? Well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. Man, fuck you! Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, so secret society type of guy. Say what? Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Well... Why are you putting an upset, upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Hey, um... Seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Hey, uh... I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. Shit. You piece of shit! I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground! <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? If you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. What happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of the regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. <laughs> of course we can't f cut free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. Hmm, you're trapped here? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all live, get to live here, dude, forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like so there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Thrills, chills, kill! 
Anyway, let's get to the Blackened's Punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> Fucking bear. Just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Fuck! God damn it! Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. He wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself. Betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool, becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double-cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why, as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure. We can't ask her now. However... Even if you can, even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who'd killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it is. Anyway... She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone, or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hot, hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well... I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. I just have really good at intu intuition. Man, I'm fucking sad now! Thanks, Nayagi, for doing that! Chapter 1 to survive. The end. Surviving students. 12. Fuck! I'm really sad now. To be continued. Damn it, Nayagi, why'd you have to end on that? You received the Despair Bat present. Would you like to save? Yes. Well guys, that's definitely good enough for one episode. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Hopefully we can get out of this fucking school next time. At least find get closer to a way out. Remember to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time.